Today, you'll learn how to add multi-column content in your WordPress website, and you don't have to know any HTML to do this. Hey there, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. And today I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to get multi columns on your website. This is perfect to break up walls of text on your site. So it's easier for users to read. So I'll show you how you can do it in Gutenberg. I'll show you two nifty ways that you can do it. And if you are still on the classic, don't worry, I have you as well. So let's dive in. Best way to get started is to create or edit a post. So let's go to posts, all posts. And I have a draft article set up in my area. So I'm going to just edit this one and I'm working through this. And there's some items down at the bottom that I want to create. So down here, I want to create integrations. And then these are all the integrations. And it's a pretty long list. It's long enough that I don't want to just put them all on its own because then it'll just have a lot of white space over here. So one of the best ways that you can do this is we can go in and once you see the little plus ad block here, or if you go up here, you can see the ad block. You can click on the block. And if you see columns, you can do that, or you can even search for columns. We'll click on that. And from here, you can choose how many columns do you want to create. So for this one, I actually want to create a 50 50 split. So I'm going to click this one. And now we see little plus icons next to each other. So now I can start adding my items. So this is going to be a list. So I'm going to just click list and I know which ones I need. And you can just keep on doing that and adding those in. And now I want to come over here and add some as well. And this time I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm just going to highlight all of these and copy them. And I'm going to come back in here and say paragraph. And then we're just going to add these in here. So they're all in here in one paragraph, but obviously the other side is a listicle. So I'm going to highlight all of these come up here to the little paragraph and we're going to transform these also to a list. So great. Now we have a two column section with items in each column. And if my integrations grew, I could come over here and say, let's go to three. And so now I have another column here that I could add even more. And the other cool thing is when I am in columns, I can come up here to my, once the columns is selected, we can come over here and we can do some color settings. We can change all of the background color so it stands out even more if we need to. Don't worry, if you have a custom color that your brand is all about, you can click in the custom color and you can add the hex value here if you want. Or if you just don't want any of it, you can either click it again or just come down here and say clear. Now, what if instead over here, I don't want to add another listicle item, but I do want to add something like an image or a video. You can come up here to image media library and we can pick an image to go into that. Make sure you add your alt text, select it. And now that will be in my third column. Now, a lot of times people want something like a text and image, and that is a little bit different than a column, but I'm going to show you this real quick. You can click add block. And you can start typing in media and it'll be media and text. And that might be a better idea for you. So you can upload an image or pick an image from your media library. And so that will be on the left side. And then on the right, we can say what we want about that image. So that's a nice little comparison. So it's, it's kind of like a column, but it's a media plus text block that you'll want to use in that case. Another cool thing is say you already wrote some stuff out. So for instance, I have three paragraphs here and I've decided I want to put those in columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all three, I'm going to come up here to the little paragraph and you notice that when I hover over it, it says change type of three blocks. When I click on that, these are all the items that I can change it to. And I want to change it to columns. So when I click on columns, boom, now it's three columns and I didn't have to create the column, add and do all of that. So that will probably speed up your formatting time if you already have all of the stuff in there and then you just want to change it quickly to a column, you can do that. Now, if you are still in the classic editor, then what you want to do is let's head over to plugins, add new because we'll install a plugin that makes it super easy to create columns for you. And we're going to search for a plugin called lightweight grid columns. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and install it. And you'll want to stick around to activate the plugin as well. Now let's head back over to the post that we're working on and I'll edit this. So for this, we're going to add a column. So I'll click on the add columns area. And from here, you want to choose how you want it to look. So for this one, we're just going to work with two columns. So I'm going to keep the 
data grid percentage for the desktop at 50. The same thing with tablet and mobile. It'll be 100, which means that the first column will be on top of the other one. And then we just need to add some information here. So we'll say OK. And that will be our first column. And now let's start a new line. Click on the button. I'm going to say last column in a row because this is our second one. Grab the content. And then we'll add the content that we want to come in the second area and we'll click OK. And now you see these two items here. So what we can do, we will save the draft and now we can preview it and see it in action. And now you'll have the two columns here as well. And then if you're looking for an easy way to set up something like a thank you page or a sales page, one of the easiest ways that you can do that is by installing Seedprod. Seedprod creates beautiful landing pages quickly and easily. All you have to do is head over to Seedprod, add a landing page, choose from all of their templates that they have, and then you can start editing. Change out all of your information for yours and you're good to go. You can quickly create landing pages on your site in no time. To get started, just head over to seedprod.com and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP and you'll get the best discount on Seedprod. And if you want more tips on how to use the Gutenblock editor, make sure you watch this video next as I walk you through step by step on exactly how to use the block editor in WordPress. And I'll see you over there.